there are many ways to measure the growth of bacteria. One of these is just to count the bacterial cells. Because there are so many bacteria in one gram of dirt, if we just spread the dirt on a plate, the bacteria will grow so close to each other that we won't be able to see individual colonies. Therefore, it becomes necessary for us to dilute the soil in tenfold increments until we can accurately count the number of bacteria growing. We refer to this as a serial dilution. After you have thoroughly mixed your soil sample in water, remove one milliliter using a plastic transfer pipette. Transfer this from the one container into another container that has only pure water in it. Pipette up and down in order to mix thoroughly. The next step is to transfer this solution onto a petri plate. A petri plate is made up of two parts, the plastic lid and the bottom that contains the nutrients. Remember that bacteria need nutrients in order to grow. You'll want to make sure that the bacteria are spread on the bottom of the plate where the nutrients are found. This plate is sterile. Do not touch the auger or anything inside the plate unless the object that you're using is also sterile. First, let's label each of our plates. We ask that you write your information on the bottom of the plate and never on the lid because sometimes lids can come off or be switched. Please write small and along the edge of the plate so as not to prevent your ability to see the bacteria growing. Include your name or your initials, today's date, the type of media used, and the temperature at which you will incubate the plate. Transfer 0.1 milliliters of solution from each of your containers. You'll notice on the plastic transfer pipette that the 0.1 milliliter marking is at the very bottom where the indentation occurs. When you transfer this, you'll want to aliquot it onto the auger surface of your petri plate. Make sure that there are no air bubbles in your plastic transfer pipette. Use 5 to 10 sterile glass beads to spread your sample on the auger plate. Replace the lid and then swirl the plate so that the glass beads spread the bacteria to all parts of the petri dish. Pour the glass beads into a container so that they can be sterilized and then used again. Turn each of your plates upside down with the lid on the bottom and store them in your plastic storage container. The purpose for turning it upside down is to prevent the condensation on the lid of the plate from falling onto the auger where your bacteria are growing. After the plates have incubated for a period of time, we will use them to calculate the colony forming units, or CFU, from our soil sample. Because of the dilutions that we used, you will notice that some of your plates will have a tremendous amount of growth, whereas others will have very little growth. In order to make an accurate counting of the bacteria growing in your soil sample, we ask that you choose a plate that has between 30 and 300 colonies growing on it. The reason why we use a range of 30 to 300 bacterial colonies is because if there are fewer than 30, then sampling error can dramatically affect your results, whereas 300 is such a high number that it becomes difficult to accurately count every single bacterial colony growing on the petri dish. Once you have finished counting the number of colony forming units on your petri dish, your instructor will show you how to calculate the total number of bacteria found in your original soil sample.